Maestro of international fame, Ukrainian, a citizen of Canada, the artist which has been forced by his fate to pass a difficult life in creative way without stopping, almost like in the lives of Kobzav. Go on, then glory, and glory is my commandment. Leonid Molodozhanin was born in the town of Polonia on January 1915 in a family of potters. His family was not rich, so when the small had one year old, they went to work in Siberia. Since his childhood, Leonid has the abilities to draw, and his father taught the boy to work with clay. It was therefore not surprising that the young man has chosen the profession of sculptor, and in 1936 he entered the Leningrad Academy of Arts. When Leonid was still a student in 1940, he created his first works, the bust of composers Tchaikovsky and Bordin for the conservatory in the city on the Neva. However, the war intervened all his intentions. Finding himself on the occupied territory, Leonid, as a guest worker, came to Austria. Later on, he moved to Germany and started studying at the Berlin Academy of Arts. In Germany, Leonid met his future wife Margaret, with which after the war he moved to her birthplace in Holland. Here he holds his Caraman Pottery Studio and completes his artistic education at the Academy of The Hague. In 1948, a young sculptor comes to Canada and settles in Winnipeg, the capital of the Ukrainian diaspora. His first works in the Canada was the monuments to the British Queen Elizabeth in Toronto, and to the 34th United States President Eisenhower in Washington. Many works have been performed by the artist for the temples. His many sculptures are kept in the museums of Italy, Germany, USA, Canada and Ukraine. In 1992 in Winnipeg, the whole park of Leo Mall sculptures has been opened, where under the open sky more than 300 of his original works have been exposed. This is why Leo became famous for his Ukrainian teams. For four monuments to Taras Shevchenko, one in Washington, the second in Buenos Aires, the third in Brazil and the fourth in St. Petersburg. Despite his fame, the master always remembered his roots, his homeland. It is interesting that everywhere and always Leo recalls with pride his small homeland, Polonia. A legendary Ukrainian sculpture, Leo Moore, died on July 4, 2009, in his 95th year of life, after passing through the thorns of his way, having lived on different continents and glorifying his new homeland, Leo have made a huge contribution for the popularization of Ukrainian culture in the world.